<laughs> wow, hey guys, today I'm gonna be killing this guy. He's a silver Lionel. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Okay, <laughs> here we go. What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and right now I'm in Zoro's Domain. Uh, today's video is going to feature me taking out a, uh, a uh, silver Lionel. I'm going to do it, it's going to be exciting, but uh, it can't just be that, it'll be a short video. So we're going to do a few things. I've marked a few areas of interest on my map over here. Uh, one is uh, down here I discovered a shrine. There's also maybe a shrine over here. I discovered Cass a couple places over here. I, you know, I was trying to get some more uh, Nadra uh, horns, and I kind of just been exploring this. I saw that this area is kind of empty, so I started exploring. Found a lot of stuff. Uh, I'm back in Zora's domain. I just picked up a couple side quests. One's to kill like a Hinox. Is that how you say their name? Uh, what's the side quest right there? And also to do the, the stone mo monuments. Uh, maybe I need to do that. But first, uh, there's a guy right here, the, the little kid or something. That I, oh, where'd he go? What? Where were they? were just here. Your trial awaits. It's glowing bright. Oh, you're the Hylian who helped our Prince Sidon. You're so handsome. Your your looks still don't compare to Prince Sidon, of course. But you're not half bad. In fact, I wouldn't mind taking oh, talking with you for a bit. Want to talk? That song. I just love singing. Uh, I even remember the song from Champion Festival. Do you want to hear it? I want to hear it. Okay, I'm going to sing it now. The Champion Festival song. A gift from the sky, a scale of light, splits the feet of a veiled falls sight. Your trial awaits. It's glowing bright. I don't really get what the song's about, but I'm going to sing it at the next Champion Festival. Mr. Trello is supposed to get the festival together, but he hasn't done anything for it yet. I wonder what's wrong with him. Did he forget what that's his job? Who's Mr. Trello? The ceremonial song. So... I think it has to do over here the... Where was it? Veiled Falls is over here. What was the first part of that? Uh, a gift from the sky. A scale of light splits the, f the feet of a Veiled Falls sight. Uh, huh. Scale of light. What does that mean, you think? Uh, hi. Scale of light. Also, where's Mr. Trello? You are here. What do you need? Okay, maybe I do need that. Scale of light. Okay, yes, please. Uh, one. I don't have a Zora spear, do I? Where do I get that? Where, how do I get a Zora spear? Ah, uh, okay. Scale. The reason why I'm thinking about this is because I don't know where to originally get a, a spear. I don't know where that is. But if you take a look, um, over here by the Veiled Falls. Hold on, I'm gonna go, go over here. Nice. Uh, over here, the, the Veiled Falls, there's like a little thing and I was talking to my friend Ninja Mary, and he said he you, he thinks you need like a spear to kind of jab into it by the waterfall. I need to figure out how to get a spear back though. I don't remember. Um, oh, what's down here? Okay, nothing. I don't remember how to do this. Um, now I know. Okay, hold on. Let me go over here. This is just a bit of a detour, but I think that if we go up. Let's see. I know that when I spawn when I spawn into the shrine room, there's like a little uh there might be a spear over there. I don't know. Does it show me on the map where to get it? By any chance like if I if I do the adventure log, will it can I am able to uh, pinpoint it? Oh, maybe so actually. Okay, I'll go look at that then. This might actually be a little bit better than I thought. Here, I'm going to use uh <laughs> Rivaldi's Grail here. Let me see. I'm already using a spear. Let me see. Let me use my Master Sword for this type of thing. Because even if I use it, it'll come back. 
Oh, come on. Not I didn't mean to use Urbosa's fury. Uh, there's a sword over here. I don't need a sword, though. So if I go over here, hold on. I might need... Hold on. Trello. I need... Okay, so... Is he going to say anything now that I must devise a plan to find the ceremonial trident? The ceremonial trident is used in festival to honor champion Mifa. The, the champion festival's light scale trident, well, it's a fake. I plan to have that ceremonial trident examined by Dento, but on the way there, I dropped it off the bridge. It doesn't really matter. It's a fake, after all. I'll have to ask Dento to make a new one. If someone happens to pick pick it up, they can just keep it. Okay, so we, we are already in progress here. So, oh, so he dropped it over there. Okay, interesting. So this is exactly where I need to go. Uh, and you'll see, I kind of stopped at this area because this was a, truly a mystery. I spent forever trying to find a ball that, that could go in this. And then I asked my friend Ninja Marion, and he mentioned like doing a downward strike. And I practiced doing a downward strike with the Master Sword. It didn't work, so I think I do need some sort of a spear or some sort of special thing. So once I found that, I'm glad I kind of went into the town to try to figure out what to do because I had it wrong all along. So what's going to happen here? Uh, oh, okay, yeah, sure. So yeah, take a look at this. Yeah, I somehow have to do deal with that. So what happened? Is there anything here? Oh, okay, I found it, I found it. Okay, excellent, excellent, how do I get over there? Okay, finally, um, man, okay, this actually took me a long time to find. I think this, is, this must be it. So this is the bridge you must have been talking about. Can I reach that yet? No? Okay, let's make some more ice. It's okay. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Okay. This took me forever to find. I, I didn't quite know what he meant by bridge. So I went all over different bridges. He just meant, like, he dropped it nearby, basically. Okay, so I take... I grab this. I got it. And this is, uh, this is what? Hold on. Here we go. The ceremonial trident, a spear modeled after the light scale trident wielded by the Zora champion Mifa. They may be identical in appearance, but this spear's strength and durability are inferior. Okay, so now what? Let's check my adventure log really quick. Okay. Okay, a new, so so now, I'm gonna try it. Uh, I, I hope this works. But we're gonna go over to that, uh, that waterfall over here again. And uh, I'm gonna try, now again, I talked with my friend on how to do this, and I, I again, I when I saw this area over here, I didn't really know what, what to do, uh, but I, I was looking for a ball, because that's typically what I'm used to seeing over here, but it wasn't that wasn't it. I asked my friend Engine Marion what to do. He said a downward strike. I tried that with the Master Sword. It didn't work. So I started talking to people in town, and then I finally saw someone with the quest. So I was like, okay, let's let's do it. Kilton's here over here. We could talk to him too. In fact, let me talk to Kilton first because um, it's nighttime and I don't know how long this is gonna take. But yeah, I, let me equip um, this ceremonial trident. I hope this is enough. I hope I don't have to convert it. Missed. Oh, come on now, come on now. So now that I've defeated all four things, he should have something new for me here. If it's what you guys have been saying in the comments, it's a Dark Link costume. So let's see what he has to say. It's me. He's freaked out. Good evening, can I help you with anything? Spend some on, I probably don't have too much, but uh, I've done it! I developed an unprecedented piece of monster gear. I can't believe I was able to pull this off. I'm, I'm actually a bit terrified of myself right now. <clears throat> I present you the ultimate in monster camouflage, the Dark Series. Wear this, and you'll become a monster yourself. I hope you like being hunted for your organs. Uh, or you could just, you know, think of it as a costume. Oh yes, and when night falls, you might just be able to move a little bit faster. Not sure how it turned out that way, but I'm not complaining. Okay, not yeah, I know. I'm gonna take a look. So this is the Dark Link outfit down here. It's expensive. 
Uh, I'm pr probably not going to buy it this episode, but I just wanted to show you guys that he now has that, and that's really cool. And uh, let's see, the, the eyes glow and eerie red in the dark. So that's really cool. I'm going to have to maybe get that in the future. Uh, I don't know how much stuff I'm going to have to farm, though, in order to pull it off. But I just wanted to see him and show you guys that. So now back over here, you know, if I'm just supposed to put a spear in this, then that could be good. This is something I didn't even notice before. I never kind of explored over in this direction, so. Hot-footed frog, baby. Got him. Are there any more I can grab? There's some snails. Okay, so somehow I have to put a spear in here. And I think this is the right one. So I'm going to swim up. And then I'm going to try to... Uh... Okay, I'm going to try to kind of glide down. And I hope that this works. Because I don't want to mess this up. Let's see. Got it. That had to be it, right? Nice. Very cool. And this is something I probably would have never found had I not been exploring a whole bunch. So let's see what this shrine's all about. And I think I'll be able to do all the shrines before the end of this, I think. Not all the Korok seeds, though. All right, awesome. I assume the shrine would be up top, on top of the waterfall, but here it is right here. And this is another, I mean, it's not as fast to travel here. This will get me closer to uh, Kilton, though. This would be like a, a nice Kilton uh, spot to go to if you're really looking for that. So let's do this. We're going in. And uh, let's see how we do. I don't know what else I would need this ceremonial thing for. But I got it. And then, uh, oh, nice. It's just one I just come here and just grab my reward. Awesome. What do we got? A silver rupee. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna cash out, and then I'm gonna kind of explore a little bit more around here. But I do want to kill that silver Lionel for you guys. That's gonna be something that I'm excited about. So, I don't know if I should wear a Lionel mask when I'm going for him, or what, but I could try. Oh, what what happened over here? What's up? Hey. What's wrong? I, I want, what do you need? I need grilled salmon. You what? Okay, I'll give you grilled salmon. I can do it. And also, <laughs> oh no, it's a Yaga clan person. With that said, uh, easy to take care of. How do I, okay, there we go. Uh, I can probably get rid of that Korok leaf really quick. Let's use the spear though, that, that might be good. Oh my God. You're dead. And look at all those bananas! And rupees, by the way. Yaga Clan is full of treasure. This is, I've never seen this before. Demon Carver, wow! No more melee weapons? Let's ditch this then. Perfect. Let's uh, drop it. Excellent. Hey, you. Who's this? Hey. Hey, you're probably wondering, is this the guy everyone's talking about? The dashing treasure hunter Telly with his roguish good looks? <laughs> yep, that's me. Ooh. Go far to the north, up to Akala, and you'll find a man who deals in guardian parts. He's half my business, truth be told. As long as he's in the market, I can keep treasure hunting until I get my big break. Hey, question for you. Do you have any interesting guardian remains? What have you got? <laughs> what catches your eye? Nothing. I have it all. You, nope, I'm good. Thank you. Ooh. Farewell. So... I don't want to cut too deep into the night. Yeah, it's over here. It's over here, guys. So let me go ahead and uh, let me put on some stealth. Just because. Because I don't have enough stealth. 
Uh, okay, hold on. Sort. Hold on. Sort. And here we go. Night speed up. Great. Oh, what? I thought those were things. Okay, anyway. I thought I could be really sneaky about it. Uh, but over here, check this out. I saw these earlier, and one of the statue's eyes are glowing. You can see them right now. <laughs> he threw his head. Got him. Just some key swings and some eyeballs. I'm going to go ahead and grab those. There we go. So look, one of their eyes are glowing, and uh, that had to have been something, right? Oh, there's a beetle. I can probably just walk up to it and take it, right? Yep. Nice. Beetle's gonna love me. So with the eye glowing, what do we do? I think we shoot it with an arrow or something, right? Got it. Scary. It broke. I didn't mean to break it. I desecrated the cemetery. All right. So let's see what happens. Here we go. All right, I'm ready. If you guys are ready, I'm ready. Let's do this, let's have some fun. And let's see what needs, needs to happen here. Is this one that I just like, hey, thanks for finding me. Oh, it is not. Trial of, <laughs> trial of passage. Okay. Okay. This is fair. This is fun. I mean, what's the gimmick? There's a treasure chest up there. That's one thing. Hmm. So, yeah, let me think about this. I mean, obviously, this is going to be somewhat of an issue. Oof. Oof. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me think let me think for a second. Let me put something with a little more armor on. Oh, interesting. There's a chest in here. This is definitely an interesting Here, if I can get up here, that might be best. Oh jeez. Okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sorry. Stasis, what can you work on, buddy? Stasis can... Hey, my goodness, okay. Alright, with that said, let's uh, try to get up here. There's a chest that I definitely want to try to get. Okay, here we are. So the question I think becomes, uh, well, one, we need to get this treasure. It's not even a question, it's a statement. Opal, great. So then I'm gonna kind of wait, and then wait till this one becomes an opportunity, then go get this treasure chest. And then if we're done with treasure, that'd be great at this point, but. No promises, obviously. Let's see what's in this. Okay, Royal. I, you know, I don't know. I don't feel like I needed. But with that said, what should we drop? It's uh, I'm just gonna drop my Master Sword. No, I'm just kidding. This thing, I mean, ceremonial trident. Do I still need it? I don't think so. Here we go. All right, great. And then uh, we've gotten all of the treasure chests here, so that's great. So now all we do is we play it like we were. Where we kind of sit behind here and let this play out. And we somehow end up end up at the, whoa, whoa, whoa. We somehow end up at the top. Thank you for moving on. Don't mess with me, spiky balls.
All right. Uh, so what are we? Okay, what are we doing here? I think we just we just kind of wait, right? We just kind of. Oh no! Wait! 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 Uh. Uh. Yeah, I don't know yet. Hold on. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm a little bit perplexed. I maybe should have froze something, I guess. Ah, oh, great. Okay. Redo. Read. Oh, there's a, there are some stairs. Oh, hold on. Redo. All right. So if this works, no magnesis. We need stasis. I haven't quite figured this out yet, have I? I gotta look out for that spiky rolly ball. So I've gotta know that I gotta get up here somehow, right? Oh jeez. okay, so w once I'm here, I need to somehow get up there. And this is a little bit dizzying, you know? Nope, nope, not this again, no. Uh, great. Okay, great, great. Okay, with that said. Okay, hold on, now that I'm here. Okay, what needs to happen exactly? Okay, hold on. I need to somehow get over there. I think is the best shot for me, right? So if I just want to, uh... yeah, this is good, this is good. Okay, now that I'm here, all I gotta do is somehow move up this way in the world, right? Perfect. Okay, wonderful. And then now all I need to do is wait for the stairs again think. Here they are. All right, I'm just going to go for it. Excellent. That's that, right? That's got to be it. And then there's this, the drop down, which I've already gotten that treasure. I've already gotten all the treasure here. So we collect this and we're out. Good job, Zach. And then by the end of, the, end of this episode, I need to trade in, trade in for some hearts. I get probably two hearts by the end of this episode. Spirit orb. Very cool. So, uh, yeah, we got weapon durability. <laughs> just telling, we don't got it. It just tells me about it. More than a weapon, yes. Metal weapons, shooting stars, hard stuff. Mark the place where it lands. You might find something there, no joke. It already marks it for me though, which is good. Oh my God, who's this guy? Hi. When the dark light resides in the cursed statue's eye, pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. The answer is somewhere. What, uh, what are you up to? Oh. Ha! Let me guess. You caught wind of the great Dr. Callop's groundbreaking research and just had to meet him for yourself, huh? No? Don't tell me you've never even heard of me after I've dedicated my life to researching the ancient shrines. <sighs> well, you better remember my name. For it's not the last you'll hear of it. Oh. And while I'm at it, it's Dr. Callop, if you please. I didn't study my rear end not to be called Mr. Callop. Everyone forgets I'm a doctor for some reason. Oh. And since you asked, uh, I'll inform you that I'm engaged in analyzing ancient texts. I haven't uh, I haven't time for idle chit-chat, ancient texts. Mm -hmm. Soon my long years of research will be revealed and all the world will hail it as the discovery of a century. To prevent any undue attention, I haven't even told my family about my work. You understand, I'm sure. Of course, Dr. Callop. Doctor. No, did I not call him that? Uh. Did I just hear you call me doctor? As in, not merely Callip, but Dr. Callip? <laughs> it rolled off your tongue so naturally. It, it was downright salivary. All right. Hmm. This changes things. Whoa. Very well, then. I'm feeling charitable. So I'll let a few things spill. This is just between us, understand? When when a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierces the gauge to purge the seal from the shrine. I already did that. Ah. 
I'm still having, I'm still in process of, res oh, yeah, he's, I've already done that, so, uh, I've already done it, all right, farewell, I've already done it, the cursed shrine, can I just say it's complete, complete, easy, okay, hmm, a stroke of luck, all right, great, I, I got lucky, I got lucky by doing that first, the other thing is up here, this is a little bit harder to, for me to get to. Alright, but uh, you know what? With the help of uh, Sir Rivali, I don't think we're going to have too much problems. Let me just uh, go ahead and switch to climbing gear. Which I would love to upgrade, of course, but... Uh... Alright, here we go. And which way do we need to go? To my uh, right. Over here. Here we go again. Rivali. Let's see it. Not a problem. Alright, and the shrine that I found is actually under a waterfall over here. It's a beaut. If we take a look, uh, it took me a while to find this, but take a look. It's over here, a shrine under the waterfall. And see, I've already located it. Oh, you know what? I probably could have fat. No, I couldn't have fast traveled because I don't think I even checked it. Once I located, it, I just moved on. And I remember this area. Remember this area? There's a memory over here, but I was trying to figure it out, trying to find out where to go. I never did. I guess, or I did, rather. I did. So we're just gonna try to glide in here. Ta-da. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. Oh, see, I didn't even know that you could just go into, I didn't know you could probably just walk around to it, but here we are. My master sword, uh, where is it? It's almost broken, let's try to break it all the way. There, there you go. Just as we wanted, right? Uh. Not a big deal. All right, scan in, please. Let's find out what this one's all about. And then right after this one, I'm gonna go take on a, sa uh, a silver Lionel. And then I'm gonna do a couple more shrines just to kind of uh, make it you know, add, add, add a lot of variety to this episode. And at least turn in and get two extra hearts. That'll be good. Next episode, I think I'm going to track down the last memory at Hyrule Castle. I think that'll be good. Alright, this one looks easy. Just kidding. Okay. What is this called? Three boxes. There's one. Let me up. Okay. One box. Here we go. Opal, that's fine. So I'm wondering if maybe this isn't like heavy enough. I need all three on here, including me. Bring it. What is this? A Zora sword. I don't really want it, but and then let me go ahead and just. Uh... You know what? I, I would probably take it over what I have now. I may not even need the three boxes if I can just drop them all here. Oh, no. I don't want that at all. Sorry, I don't want this at all. Oh, wow. We did it. I don't even think we needed three boxes. Oh, yeah. Easy.
Yeah, all three boxes are needed to open that up, I guess. This could be an easy one. Who knows? Here we go. Okay, great. Amber. We got all the treasure. Oh yeah, this makes perfect sense. Okay, great. And then when that thing goes back up, I'm gonna go back up with it too. And then we're done. Beautiful work. I didn't even get to hear a doo -doo 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 -doo. or maybe I did when the that big box opened. I don't know. Here we go. Got it. Spirit Orb. Is everyone happy? I hope so. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to take on a, uh, a Silver Lionel. It's going to be a little tough, but I think I have what it takes right now. Um, I have Mifa's... Uh, Blessing ready to go In case it gets back at me uh, So let's just fast travel. Let me make sure That I have some recipes here. Do I have uh, Some things whipped up Yeah, I do from the kitchen. Good job. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know, I'm gonna put on I don't really care about tricking him or anything. I'm gonna put on this I'm gonna come at him pretty hard I'm gonna be rocking my shield I'm going to be rocking my, uh, my Savage Lionel bow. And I'm going to be, uh, oh. Hmm. Not sure. Maybe this? No. Guardian Sword. I don't know what to do. Guardian Sword plus plus. I mean, that's just, uh, attack up 20 is good. Maybe I'll use it. What do you think? I mean, it's not that great, really. How about this? This is good. We'll just use that. Is it won't be a big deal. I don't plan on doing a lot of work in this fashion, but let's go ahead and fast travel over to uh, the shrine here. Here we go. I'm gonna have Stasis help me out. Here we go. Get that back up. Now, uh, I've actually been here before and fought Lionels before, but it's good to be back, so to speak. Where, where is it? Oh, wow, there's a campfire here. I didn't even know. Oh my god, Yaiga. I had no idea Yaiga would be here. Bananas. What, what weapon was that? Wind Cleaver, that's really cool. Uh, I can't carry it. Uh, darn, what do I want to do with it? So I'm gonna actually take a defense potion or defense food product in a bit. Uh, or maybe I'll just do it now. Do I have one? So with the Barbarian Armor, I have the attack up. But I kind of also want to have a way to defend myself. I don't know if I have any. I may have eaten it all. Never mind. I probably already ate it. That's okay. But I have, oh, but yeah, but the good thing is, check it out, there's a, there's a fire here, so I can actually cook before I even go. Oh, wait, no, well, no, I don't have a pot. So, uh, this isn't exactly it, this is a hideout. Uh, but the, uh, the Coliseum is over here. Oh, <laughs> it is over there, I, I got way off course. I got way, way off course, okay, yeah, sorry. Sorry, I thought I was on the, on the right path, but I wasn't. I'm still not. Here we go. It's over here. I got confused. It's okay. Don't worry about me. 
All right, we're fine. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I did get confused on uh, which particular wall to climb up. It's okay, it's just over here. Coliseum's back on this side, I'm sorry. Here we go. Sometimes it's pretty easy to get turned around. All right, so he's gonna be in here. Right, we're still on the right path. Close, okay, come on. I really did take a big turn. I thought I was going the right way. Uh, so I don't have any more Darut's protection, so. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. We'll do it without. We'll do without. Is that a Korok seed, you think? Nope. All right. So this guy's gonna be down there. We're gonna ignore the rest of the enemies. All right, so just to show you, those guys have ice swords. All right, where is he? All of these guys have so there he is. Check him out. He's right here. This is a silver Lionel, and just to, I guess, prove it. Well, actually, let me let me shoot him in the face first before we do that. Let me go stasis. I'm just gonna drop down. This is a silver Lionel, guys. You can drop down, hit him in the face. Then you can mount him. And then attack him when you're on his back. All right, there we go. Now, just to, just to, I guess, should I even bother proving it? Silver Lionel, see, I, I did it. Okay, I proved it, it's Silver Lionel. In case you guys were curious. All right, I don't know if that's enough. It isn't. Okay, we gotta go. Oh, jeez, Louise, that, was, that didn't hurt me too bad, did it? Oh man, what am I trying to do? It's fine. Look at this, you just hit him with arrows. It's not a big deal. Uh-oh. You can just hit him with arrows. It's easy. And this is why people have little challenges for themselves on what to do. This guy is gonna drop a nice sword for me. Uh, I'm gonna really like that flame sword. Uh, everything he drops is great. All the hooves, horns, guts, shock arrows, everything he drops is wonderful. So we got a, a, a flame blade, a savage Lionel shield. So here's just the thing, Here, look at this. So I already have two of them. I don't really need another one. I don't really want to get rid of the Daybreaker. I'm gonna get rid of the knife shield. I'm gonna have three of the savage Lionel shields. The bow, look, look, I don't even need. It's, it's one of the best bows in the game. I, I used it, I just took one out. So I'm gonna get rid of the steel Lysel bow, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna pick up this. The flame blade, I mean, what are my choices, really? Uh, I have the, I have this one. Let me drop this one. Let's see if this one's any better. It's the same. That's fine, that's fine. I'll just, I'll just keep one. This one's the freshest. This one's fun to use, it's not that strong. It does look like everyone up here, though, has amazing weapons. Like, what the heck are they doing with those? Like, do I need to bo even bother? I don't think so. I think I did what I came here to do, which is take out a, uh, a silver Lionel. Uh, it's not that hard, guys. It's not that hard, especially once you get your stuff upgraded. Uh, you just keep shooting with arrows over and over. Um, you know, I could, I, you can mount them as I did. But I feel it's more efficient just to keep railing them with arrows, especially if you already have a Lionel bow. Just over and over. But if you want to see how other people do it on YouTube, uh, they, man, sometimes they, they just, they, they basically block perfectly each and every time, hit them, hit them with like wooden spoons, all sorts of stuff. It's really absurd, but awesome. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fast travel back to here and go down south to see about that shrine. I think it's a shrine. I marked it as a shrine, I think. Or at least a point of interest, I don't remember. But then I have a couple of areas where 
uh, that I've marked where that bird, Cass, is uh, playing the accordion, and I kind of want to check that out as well because I marked those, and I don't really know, you know, what, what they're going to be. I have 29 shrines left. I hope to get through them, um, you know, in time. So wish me luck on that, right? Here we go. Rota O Shrine. Uh, so I guess it's just uh, the the blue that I marked is just this way. Here we go. Perfect. Let's see if it is something I did indeed mark. Uh, it must be, or I did it accidentally. I don't know which. But I just want to check it out really quick. Oh, hey, moblins. Is that just a moblin club? If it is, I need that. I do need that for that quest. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it here. I'm gonna beat these moblins. I need it for that that boy's quest. Did he just laugh? Got him. It's badly damaged. Is there a Yaga behind me or something? There is. What the heck? Why do these Yagas keep tracking me down? It's so weird. Oh, whoa. What, what did I use? Oh, did my thing break too? Oh, dear. It's okay. Well, now I can pick one of these up. Right? I did. Thank you. I don't know how these Yaga keep finding me. Let's get rid of that. It's badly damaged. Dig, dig dog suspension bridge. Nice. This is a new area I've never been before. That's great. And I have a club for that kid. And I, I bet there is a shrine here. I mean, I marked it. So I must have found it before. So let's go find it right now. I think it's down below or something. It must be. That's why. Oh, wow. There's a... Uh, check this out. There's a... Hinox. Right here. It must be down below. But I'm going to go and take out this Hinox guy. This is going to be also very easy. I, I believe. So check this out. All I'm like is like... I'm like, hey. Wake up! And he's like, what? <laughs> I love it. I guess I might, I, might, I might be supposed to mount him. I don't know. Boom! Got him. I love it. And he, he carries all this royal stuff. It's interesting. Uh, roasted hearty salmon. He's got all these like cooked foods for me. I don't know why they're already roasted. But toenails as well. All those weapons are great. But let's go ahead now and do that shrine. Been using them all. I just haven't been using Mipha's, uh blessing. There it is. Right there. So we know... All right, this is great. Here we go. Also, in the comments, someone said it, of a way to do the raft. I want to try that out. You basically use magnesis and a metal weapon, so I'm going to try that out in just a bit. After this, I'll have enough to, to exchange for two hearts. So we're to the point where we're gonna we're getting really close to wanting to fight Ganon. I want to get all the shrines first, though. I really do. But we're going to do a new memory next episode. I'm going to get the last memory next episode, so that way a minor test of strength. Sounds great. Let's use... Uh, if it's just minor, let's just rock and roll his day, right? Here we go. I'm ready for you, buddy. He, he, this guy's going down. I'm going to go all out at him. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going. Here we go. Say it's minor. Oh, he's still hitting me. Darn it. Whatever. Got him. I don't even care about his spear. If he has any parts, I'll take him. But if it's just minor, not a big deal. All right, we're great. Let's go. 
grab the treasure and then be out of here. And nice, an ancient core. That's great. That's like the ultimate for me, unless it's like a giant ancient core. All right. Well, so let's uh, let's go on. Let's go check out those uh, those places where Cass was, right? I have enough to trade in for two 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 hearts. That's great. So let's see um, what else we can do. Been doing pretty good. And you know, we can go on to, I mean, I know I don't have a lot of protection. I don't know where else silver ones are. I think, I th think, maybe up north, I don't know. I don't know if we want to kill more Lynels, might as well, if we're here. But we're going to go, uh, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and, um, I don't want to do any other ones in the cold, because that one, that way I can't have my gear, that makes me really strong. <laughs> but I, this one might be a silver by now, I don't know. One of them over here might be there. I've, I I know where a bunch of Lynels are. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to go over here. Cass is both here and here on the other side. So I'm going to go, or I could go to Divine Beat. Yeah, I could go here. That's closer even. Let's go there. I want to see what Cass is talking about. Now, also, I need to go to Atino Village and turn this in for that kid. Because that kid, the weapon connoisseur... I uh, wanted to see one of these Moblin Clubs, I believe. So, uh, hopefully we can turn one in. Let's see what we got. We got it all. Divine Beast Varuta. Okay, is it this way? The red. Yeah, the red's where I'm going. All right, so I I actually put a marker on him because I didn't know like if it's like a mist a puzzle that I have to solve for a shrine I didn't know where it was, but I know where he is, and we'll hear his accordion kick in very soon. There he is. You see him? Very cool. Oh wow! You think that's another drop down and and strike? Let me just try it. I don't know if I need a special thing, but maybe. Nope, wrong way. Darn it. Mm, maybe. What's up? Oh, pardon me. I didn't think anyone was around. Oh, I knew we'd meet again, though. I never imagined it would be here. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Let's hear it. Oh. Excellent. Without further ado. A beast that wears a crown of bone, prancing through the lush green. Mount the beast upon its throne, for only then the shrine is seen. I suppose the lush green could refer to this place, but what sort of beast wears a crown of bone? Mm. There's definitely a secret hiding here, but that's but it's beyond me. May the light illuminate your path. The crowned beast. A beast that wears a crown of bone, prancing through the lush green. Mount the beast upon its throne, for only then the shrine is seen. Alright, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Do you think it's like a, uh, oh jeez, no, 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 no. Oh my god, uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Oh no. Okay. Mount the beast, though, it said to mount it. Hold on, I have a problem here. Um, whatever. What, that didn't work? Help. Got him. Being blown up and taking half heart damage is better than everything else in my mind. Arrow, nice. Electric key swing. Crown of bone, do you think that's like... Mount him though, what does that even mean? There it is, you think that's it? If it is, let me put on my uh, ninja gear, or whatever it's called.
stealth kites. I mean, this is a crown of bone, right? Do I ride it over to the, that area? Maybe so. Hi. Here we go. I'm soothing you. It loves me. Excellent. Good job. I didn't know you could mount these. Crazy. Why would he let me do this? <laughs> I guess why would, why would a horse? I don't know. Found him. Excellent. I didn't know. Rivali's gale is now ready. Yes. Thanks, Rivali. I got him. Cass. I brought it here. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Totally awesome. Goodbye. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much for helping me solve the puzzle. <laughs> All right. Examine that. There's a low shrine. So here we go. Let's see what this is all about. Remote bombs. That's what I've been using. Remote bombs. Remote control bombers. And then there's another cast just down the way. Uh, probably best to fast travel in that direction. I'm just trying to get a lot done. Ancient trifecta. All right. Oh yeah, I don't have a weapon. I just. Uh, let's try this. Sure. Yeah, this is it. Uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. But hold on. That's fine. So the bomb, I'm just going to place this here. Drop, 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 drop it down. Move over here. Thank you. Let's see what this is. Is there another something over there? What is it? Thunderblade. Nice! Attack. That's a good one. Okay, sorry, I got really, really excited about that one. Uh, instead of the Savage Lionel Bow, let's switch to uh, just a regular Royal Bow here. All right, I need... I need that treasure chest, don't I? I do. Uh, okay, hey. Nope. Nope. Dang it. Alright, it's fine. Let's see. Take an arrow, nice. Boom! Don't don't look at the explosions. Here we go. Alright, you're coming with me. No, what? We're fine, we're still close enough. Ta-da! Alright, I wonder what I needed the big block for. How would I get a bomb over there? Oh. Oh, I, oh, you know what? I think I do need the big block. Regardless. 
I need to move it so that this thing will, will be hit with the laser, right? Oh, yeah, of course. Wait, what? You know, I forgot all about doing the raft thing that I wanted to try. Okay, this is a little bit confusing, but... Oh! Uh, well, wait. Hold on. No, I'm still confused. Do you think I can make that? What? Okay. Hold on. Let's see what I need to try to pull off here, because this, uh, like... Can I still hit this? Like, oh yeah, I can still hit it. What? Okay, I'm a little perplexed at this one. I'm just saying. baffled. I'll admit it. I'm a little baffled. You know what? Never mind. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I can't see it from here, so I need to be able to use Magnesis to lift this up. Put it down, I guess. Wait, what? Yeah, then I can stand up here and shoot this with an arrow. Makes sense. Oh my god, what? But it fell. What? Okay, that's not how it's supposed to work. All right, hold on. We do this. We do this. Do that. Then we're good, right? Okay, hold on. Darn it. Okay, I gotta be careful with this. So I can totally hit it from here. Once it gets here though, I can't do much with it. I did not know that's how it worked. Weird. Got it though. Okay. I just learned that you can shoot those to trigger the uh, the little things. Okay. It was the first time for everything, and I just learned that just now. So here we go. We have a total of nine spirit orbs in our possession. I'm gonna trade them in for two hearts soon. And then the air, uh, the other area where Cass is. Is uh, or at least one one other area where Cass is, where I've seen him, is uh, off to the uh, and I, and this is an, an area where it's really interesting. There's like a, a couple different really cool things in this area, like different crabs and stuff that I'd never seen before until I got over there. But I explored it. Um, it's over here, and uh, there's like a Hinox there. I forget where the Hinox was that they wanted me to kill. If we take a look at the uh, adventure log, it might tell us. They wanted me to kill a, uh, a 
Like goat butter. I need to still do that one. Uh, take it back to see. I haven't done that one yet. Uh, Hinox, Rallis Pond. I, I don't even know where that is. Rallis. Oh, right there. So there must be a Hinox there for me to kill, which is not a big deal. I can do that too. Uh, but what I what I was saying is I need to get over here. Malineru would be a quick way, but let's just take this way. I think this is fine. Let's get to it. Um, I'm just trying to, you know, inject as much variety into this episode as possible. Next episode, we're going to do the memory. So let's see what we got. I am ready. All right, great. Uh, oh, this is the area with thorns all around, isn't it? Yeah, I hate this area. Thankfully, Rivali is here for me. I remember that one because I, I couldn't remember how to get in. I couldn't think of how to get in, but I got in. Oh no. Hold up. I hate the rain. But here my stamina will be up a little bit more. There we go. Got in. <laughs> Daruk's protection is now ready to roll. Thanks. So there is a Hinox up there. <laughs> gotcha. All right, need all the meat I can get. I can't climb up there right now because uh, of the rain. But I could use Rivalis, but I'm not going. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go over this way. This is a really cool area uh, that I've never shown in this video before. So uh, let's go check it out really quick. There is a base over here, and oh my gosh, uh, Ambrosia's Fury is just amazing. I uh, uh, when I was uh, scouting. Basically, like, when I'm rendering video, I'm scouting in Zelda. Or I'm farming in Zelda when I'm rendering videos. Because I can't record and render at the same time. Uh, because that would just... It just not it won't work. It's just too much effort. And uh, when I was... <laughs> I can't believe I just killed that guy. When I... when I, uh, I can't record and render at the same time. But but what I can, can do uh, is play. And so... Oh, nice. So check this out. If it works. If it works. So thankfully... Okay, come on, come up here. Come on, get up there. This might already be cleared. I may have already cleared it. Yeah, it looks like I already cleared it. So never mind. Uh, I've already cleared it. Not a big deal. Uh, I basically just went in here with Urbosa's Fury and just annihilated the place all in one go. It was great. I heard the wind. I was wondering if there's like a dragon nearby or something. Uh, but let's see. What what can we do? Cass is like over there. There he is. I thought he was actually farther away. There's this little this little cove over here is kind of cool. There's a bunch of crap. Oh, hold on. There's a hold on. There's a. I didn't notice this before. The easiest thing for me will be to uh, equip bomb arrows. There we go. Nope. So, what's this? Balloons are great. I didn't realize this was just going to be a, a gust of wind here. But I like it, I suppose. But why is another question. Why is this just a gust of wind? I don't know. All right, so I don't know if it's gonna be like that here. Yeah, look at all the crab. They're just crab here, they're really cool. So I'm just like, hey crabs. <laughs> just grab you, not a big deal. Some fish here too. Mighty Porgy. You know, I don't know. Look at all of them. Whoa, they jump. Yep. And they float. 
Armored Porgy. Okay, cool. Let's go see Cass, what Cass is all about. I don't know what this puzzle is. But I'm interested in learning. Where is he? Is he up here? I marked him. I thought... So, I marked him, but I thought he was like... Oh, no. Okay. Whoa. What the heck is all this? Oh, you think I dropped something in there? Maybe. Missed. I bet I do. I bet this is a Korok thing. Missed. Wow. Okay, hold on. Ah. Alright, this is fun. Oh, come on. That was perfect. Oh, there's another thing. Okay, hold on. Ah. Bomb arrow, please. Oh, wow. Why did it... Oh, it's a gust of wind, I guess. I'm trying to get these in here. If it doesn't work, then gosh, but still, I'm trying. That's it! Yes! Hi. I did find you, Korok Seed. Nice. Bye-bye. Oh, oh, is it raining? I don't want it to rain. Where's Cass? I marked him. He's... There he is. All right, let's find out what happens here. He's probably got a song about this area. And I do wonder if it has to do with the wind. Hey, buddy. Oh, I was sure that I would be alone in so remote a place. Pardon me for not greeting you sooner. All right. Oh, oh ho, it's you, although I guess I shouldn't be surprised to see you here. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? Let's hear it. Ooh. Excellent. Without further ado. He breaks the rocks that serve to bind above the tempestuous bay. On wings of cloth and wood entwined, he lands on the altar to open the way. Okay. That sounds simple enough. That sounds like straightforward. All right. I have the wings. It's a juicy riddle, but I may never puzzle it out. Take care. All right, so I think I've done it all, right? Okay, hold on. Do I got to start somewhere? That's a, that's the question. All right, hold on. I do wonder if I if I have a starting point that I have to do. Oh, look at that guy. Look at you! Alright, it's fine. I didn't mean to use bomb arrows, but I did. Oh my god, regular arrows would be just suitable. Ah, I missed! Peekaboo. <laughs> Got him. Alright, so we... Again, I think I've gotten them all, but I mean, here's, here's the problem. Yeah, I don't know what the problem is. Did I get all the rock? I don't, maybe you didn't get all the rock. I don't know. Oh, no, there's, there's one here. All right, easy. <laughs> Got it. Did I get them all yet? Maybe so. Maybe not, though. Oh, no, there's one over there. Here we go. We're just going to break all these rocks, and then I'm going to have a path that's going to be so... It's going to make so much sense. Oh, this is a treasure. Okay, that's fine. I'll take a treasure as well. Fisherman shield. Shield guard up eight. I don't feel like I need this shield. That's just me, though. Uh, let's see. Zora's stuff might be better for this. But again, I don't really know. Uh, let's see. Come on. Uh, okay. Okay. 
Bound to be. Hey, crabs. And you gotta love these crabs just hanging out here. Oh, yeah. Bombs it is. I would love for this to finally be done. I don't know if it ever will be, but it eventually will be, right? I would hope. I mean, it's looking pretty good. Oh, wow, I, I did it. Do I, do I have to land there? Maybe. Don't touch the water, Link. Oh, rats. Here I am. <laughs> Didn't work, obviously. Okay, let's figure it out. I mean, at the very least, that thing's lit up now. Does it matter, like, do I have to land on it from there? You know, can I, okay, here we go. I'm gonna try Revali. This is gonna be the real test. Can I just land on it from here? Like, no big deal type of thing. Let's see. Now that it's illuminated, can I just land on it from the glider? That works. <laughs> nice. We got it. So, another one. Excellent. I'm happy about this one. This is good. Well, let's head off over this way. All right. Nice. Shyota Shrine. The joys of night. Some animals and insects only come out when it's dark. Keep an eye out for them. Oh, I will. I will, he will. I really, 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 really will. Oh, nice, it's just one, I, yeah, I'm glad. Just one, like, hey, you're here, good. A great flame blade with attack up 15. I guess I had room for it. I didn't think I was gonna have room for it. Sure, uh, now I'm gonna go to Hateno Village and I'm going to uh, turn in this club and then I'm going to uh, also upgrade and get two Two hearts. Uh, I'll, after that, I'll have two orbs left. It's fine. But um, I haven't scouted out anything else really lately. So we got a lot done this time, though. So let's see what we can do. I prefer to scout while he's rendered, if that makes sense. Because like I can farm, I can scout, I can do anything. And I think it makes for more interesting videos when I already know where to go, is so you don't see me just being lost for all this time. Oh, hi. I don't need to fight them, do I? No. Hateno Village is pretty close by. Uh, just right down here. So close. Travel there. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, I think... I mean, I'm, I'm having fun. I hope you guys are having fun. Let's see if the kid's out and about, or if he's gone to bed, or if he's going to bed, or... There he is. Is it you? Hey. Hey. Is this the guy? Oh. The moblin, it is so cool. Let me see, go ahead, you can have it. Here we go. Here we go, wow. It's even more amazing than I ever imagined. All right, wow, I saw one just like that in a book. Thanks for letting me see. Take this as a thank you, purple rupee, great. Uh, that was from my grandpa. So don't, what do you wanna see next? Let's see, Ooh. what was it? That one, that one. Have you heard of the duplex bow? Do I have that on me? Uh, it's from the Gerudo region. Uh, okay, so duplex bow. So I, yeah, I don't have it. Nice. Uh oh, uh oh, no, 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 no. Okay. 
What? Okay. Go get it. Is it gonna work? Uh. Oh, what's this girl doing? Hey, what, what are you doing? Carry my thoughts to him. Hmm? Do you have a wish for the water fairy too? Oh, I suppose not. If you did, you'd have a letter to send. But wait, does that mean you're a servant of the water fairy? That's right. That can't possibly be so. Please don't make fun of me just because I'm a cute girl. If you're a traveler, that's lucky for me. Oh, wow. If that's the case, I have an important request for you. Once I release it, I'd like you to follow my love letter and get to know whomever picks it up. Once you do that, please report back uh, to me so I can find out what kind of person he is. Okay. I know, I know. You're probably thinking, why not just go get it yourself, lazy girl? I'm right, aren't I? The thing is, I promised my mother I wouldn't venture out too far. So I'm begging you, please, find the person who picks up this letter, okay? Fine. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to throw the letter in now. Are you ready? Okay. These letter containers break easily, so please be careful. Me be careful? What the heck are you talking about? What? Okay. Okay, great. Oh, my gosh. Do I have to, like, wait. What? Okay, hold up. <laughs> What do you, okay, do I have to start, do I have to break that down? Like, do I have to like, like if it hits that and it breaks, that's bad news for me, right? What if I do, uh, okay, hold on. Where's my bow? Oh my God, my bow broke, hold on. I've never done this before, this is an interesting quest. Ancient bow, I don't even know. Steel, sure. Okay, that, that did it great and it is going on its way though I need to definitely uh, be on my guard here because this is uh... here we go so what happens okay stop climbing link okay so this is happening okay hold on I don't I'm out of Rivaldi Oh, uh, the Rivaldi dra Grail runneth dry. Uh, okay, so this is still going, right? Great. Okay. So this is just going to go down here, I guess. Right? Okay, it's still here. I only, I only had to break one thing. Oh my gosh, the sound. How far do you think I have to go? I don't wanna to get too far ahead because I don't know exactly what to do. But it seems, you know, it's just gonna kind of follow this way. It might fork. A lot of fish. There's another bow, a traveler's bow. So if it goes under here, then we should be fine. Oh man, but I gotta take here, I gotta take care of these guys. Nice. Uh hold on. All right, good job. A lot of fish here swimming. Could definitely use some Rivaldi. Rival Rivaldi. Hold on, now, if it's gonna go in there, what do I do? What if it, if it breaks there, I'm gonna be upset, because I mean, like, I wasn't told anything about this. Oh, great. Great, what, what happens? What the heck? What happens? Okay, I'm confused. Uh. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, what? Okay. Oh god, no, no, okay. So I did, I d Okay, I did a detour really quick, that's fine. Sure, I interfered with love, whatever. It doesn't matter. I, I didn't know what to do with it, but sure, this happened. No more monsters, that's good, right? Okay, so it's going this way. I mean, I can take this to wh whoever I want, technically. <laughs> If this is how it's gonna work. Uh, let's see. So if it goes down here. And oh my gosh, I don't even know what to think. I have some monsters to take care of if that's the case. Got him. Okay. Oh great, did it fall down already? No, oh, there it is. I hope I'm doing this right. I don't know if I should I should have intervened or what, you know? Following it, man. If this, it'd be funny if it goes all the way to like Hylia. It'd be terrible, aka terrible, if it went all the way to like Hylia. <laughs> uh, this is definitely a mission that I wasn't prepared for, by the way. But now that I'm doing it, I mean, I might as well see it through, right? Good, good, good. Okay, is it? Is this thing still coming? There it is. Okay. Like I keep wondering, like, should I just pick it up and just like throw it in way later, or do I do I just keep going with this? Because this seems. It definitely seems interesting for sure. I keep killing a lot of these guys too. Uh, so if I keep following this, oh my god, you you, you got to get out of here can't have you here. Oh my gosh. This is a weird Gale escort mission. Very weird escort mission. I don't even know what to do. Eventually it's going to get all the way over here. I'm not going to know what to do. I've never even really been to this village. I could try to go clear it and just in case it's populated with bad guys. Is it still over there? Oh no. Oh no, where'd it go? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be joking, kidding me. What happened? No, I was. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Alright, never mind. Man, this is tough. I don't know what to think. And this is one of those quests where it feels like I'm doing it right. On the other hand, it feels like I don't know what I'm doing. So uh, let's just kind of get up ahead of it again. See, man, I don't even know what's gonna happen. Okay, you need to go. What a weird quest, okay. The other thing is, like, do I use bombs for this? Like, hold up. Wait, that didn't work. Uh, it may not, may not do bombs when it's raining. Okay, I need to get over here quick. I think. Okay, let's see. Okay, hold on. All right, I'm gonna try to block, unblock this rather. That's pretty good, right? I mean, that's pretty good. That's it's coming. So we gotta we gotta definitely do something about this. I think that'll be good for now. Uh, all 
No, 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 no. Hey. No, 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 no. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. Is it still coming this way? There it is. Oh, no. Don't break on that. I'm going to be so mad if it breaks on that. I see. I thought I blew all this stuff up. Go ahead. Oh, it's it's gonna do it on its own. Okay, that means I gotta I gotta get out of here. Oh my god, I gotta get out of here. How do I get out of here? Hold on, I need to swim this way. Uh oh. Oh, okay, cool, cool. I didn't think this was a possibility. No, what the heck? Don't fall. Oh no. Okay, thank you, thank you. Where is it? Oh my god, where is it? What? It's over here? Okay. This is by far the craziest mission I've done. I don't want I don't want a monster to pick this up, so here I am fighting monsters. Uh oh. Got him. Alright. It's still over there. Man, this is, what a quest, right? This is a weird quest. What's in here? Arrow times 10. Nice. I've been using a lot of arrows. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, there's a monster. I hope he doesn't see it. Okay, I don't think he's going to see it. I'm going to be so mad if he picks it up or breaks it or any number of things along those lines. All right. I'm gonna kinda go over here. All right, it's still good. I mean, it's definitely gonna end up in a dead end here. Unless it goes that way, which is definitely a possibility. Now, like I said, if this goes all the way to Lake Hylia, I'm gonna be freaked out. Prepare to be freaked, Zach. Oh, wait, there's a guy here. Hold on. Oh my gosh, this could be it. This could be it. He may not even see me. Here we go. Is that a guy or a girl? I can't even tell. Maybe a guy, yeah. Okay, uh, looks like he's gonna be picking this up. Maybe. I hope. I mean, this is, again, one of these missions that feels like I don't know what I'm doing, but it seems like it's working out exactly as intended. Oh my gosh. So what happens? Nice. Sorry for the random question, but have you ever been to Zora's Domain? Yes. I see. Is it far from here? It's not that far. I see. Oh, sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. Uh. I am Sasan, the traveling merchant. I was on my way to Zora's domain, but a love letter in this inlet caught my eye. The, the writer seems to be a lovely Zora named Finley. I've been corresponding with her by giving my replies to travelers heading to Zora's domain. Mm -hmm. So, we were you were following this letter? Yes. Uh. Hmm, so she asked you to come down here and see what kind of person I am, is that it? Well, earlier I lied when I wrote to her that I was a buff traveler, so she said she wanted to meet me, but even though I'm dying to meet her, I can't do it. How old is this guy? This that was like a little girl. I'm really, bl I've really blown it. If I had known this would happen, that I, oh, I'd fall for her. I never would have lied. Love reigns supreme. Mm. Love reigns supreme. Hmm, I suppose it does. You know, hearing that does make me feel a little bit better. Okay, it's time for me to take a chance to try to meet her. Oh, that reminds me. I wonder if the torrential rain has stopped. She's waiting in Zora's domain. That's what her letter says anyway. Mm. So I'll achieve two goals. At the same time, and train up my muscle on the way there. I'll get super beefy. Yeah, that's the ticket. I'll run all the way to the domain. Uh, catch you later. We'll meet again at Zero's domain. I'm sure of it. What? How old is that guy? What? 
<laughs> it was a little girl. How old are the Zoras? Are they like ancient or like are they like way older than they look or something? Cause uh, okay, <laughs> let's go to Zora's domain. Sure, let's see what let's see what that's all about. That was weird. I fought, I mean that again. That was such a weird quest because I, I I followed that for so long, thinking it may not even go anywhere, but it actually worked. So that's really cool. We have about we have 26 shrines left. So that's a cool thing to make note of. And the next episode, I'm going to do the uh, the final memory. But I'm not going to fight Ganon next episode. I am going to go to Hyrule Castle, but I'm not going to fight Ganon. So here I am. Where do you think that guy is? I think I, I maybe I beat him to it. Who knows? Birds get out of here. I have no idea where he is. Maybe he's not here. Hi. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea where he is. Oh wait, hold on. Is this was this a quest? Was it was the quest done or hold on? Adventure log, special delivery. Oh no, it's right here. Hold up. Let's be up top. Oh my gosh, this is so weird. Oh my gosh, this is so bizarre. What the heck? All right. Oh, he's a boy. Okay, I thought he was like a man, but oh, he's, he's still, he's like a teenage. I don't know. This is weird. Oh, it's you. Hey, Sasan. This is the guy who made sure my letter reached you safely. Oh, it's you. As you can see, I somehow made it to Zoro's domain. Thanks to you, I managed to work up the courage to finally meet Finley. That's how I see it. Thank you so much for introducing me to my soulmate. <laughs> Sasan and I discussed it, and we decided we just had to thank you the next time we saw you. So here, this is for both of us. Thank you for everything. All right, wow, that was a tough quest. I mean, I guess it was worth 300, I guess. <laughs> Sasan, be sure to swim and climb and lift and stuff a lot. That will help you build up those muscles you promised me. Uh. As you wish, my darling. I'll try my best. <laughs> what? Mm. What? <laughs> oh, you, thanks for the help the other day. I'm discussing important things with Sasan right now, like his favorite foods. Important things like that. Uh, Sasan, <laughs> Goron City is a really hot place. Sasan, you're so dreamy. Please tell me more stories from your travel adventures. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, this pond up here <laughs> is going to have a, a Hinox for me to destroy for a part of the quest. You know, maybe I should backtrack it for the for the little shrines or whatever the the things on the wall. I don't know. When I was a young warthog, raw prime meat. All right, so up here is gonna be a hinox, I guess. We'll easily take care of that. Whoosh! Ah, snuck. You got snuck on. Alice Pond is this way. I have like everything I need, assuming he is over here. I hear him. Oh, I hear him, all right. There he is, not a big deal. So what I'll do is I'll stamp this here. Wrong. Wake up! I said wake up! Is 
almost dead. Stop trying to hit me. Rude. Rude, Hinox. He keeps dropping all this royal stuff, which is kind of cool. We got him. All this, like, roasted food. I'm going to eat some of this roasted food here. It just makes sense. So let's see. Um, go to the cook section. Sort it. And then uh, let's just eat a bunch of roasted stuff here. Roasted hearty bass. Eat. Sure. I mean, maybe it doesn't make too much sense to eat it right now, but whatever. What should I aim for? <laughs> aim for his mouth. Does that matter? Does that do anything different? I don't know if it does. Let's go down. Oh, nice. Shard of Dinral's Fang. Got that. Oh, jeez. What the heck? Get out of here. All right. With that said, I am going to try to take on this Lionel. I don't know what color it's going to be, but I'm going to switch to my uh, Barbarian gear before we do it. He's going to be... Oh, he's not a silver one at all. He's, uh, he's, he's going to be a white one. So I, I may not know where all the silver ones are. This is the white main Lionel. So this isn't a big deal. This one's gonna be even easier than the previous one. So let's see how this go this plans out, plays out. Uh, I got pretty much everything I need. I just need to switch to my uh, my stronger gear here. But at least we did one silver, right? And it went pretty smooth. So here we go. This is gonna be great. I'm gonna fly over to him just like before. <laughs> The uh, white Lionel. Oh, jeez, no, no, the worst, the worst. Got him. Look how easy this is. You just keep pelting him in the face with arrows and it... I'm gonna try to mount him really quick. Nope, didn't work. Bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news, bad news. Oh my gosh. I did break it with Daruk's uh, shadow. He's dead. Again, so that's a cool little spear that he has. It's probably better than some things that I already have, but the main thing is I love getting more of these, these shock arrows and then all these Lionel parts as well. So that was pretty cool, right? And we've already beaten, um, you know, one of the, one of the, the stronger ones. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. It's been a long episode. We've done a lot. Uh, we could do one more thing though. We could we could shove in one more thing into this, and I'm happy enough to do it. I guess uh, we could try to go and get a bow. The Yaga Clan hideouts here. We could try to get a bow uh, from here because he wants to. I know that there are bows in here. Oh man, they're gonna be here to fight? I know they're actually gonna wanna fight me. Duplex bow. Oh, I can't hear any more duplex bows? Come on. Oh, you know what? Man, you would think that after clearing them out, they would be fine. But so we got here a duplex bow. So let's see what we drop. We just gotta get rid of a bow. Might as well be something like, uh,. The steel Lysel bow, something like this. Just drop it. Duplex bows aren't that great, but let's. Uh... All right, let's see what this guy's all about. If he likes my duplex bow or not. He's gonna be running around here. Not you. Not you. The kid. The kid. 
The, the boy. The boy kid. You're both kids. Hey. Yeah, I have it. Is it that a duplex bow? Yeah, here it is. I got it. All right. Wow, it's exactly like the one in the books. Thanks, here's a token of my thanks. A purple rupee from his grandpa, right? All right, what do you want to see next? Okay. What was it? Um, That one, what is it? That one. The wind cleaver. I have not heard of the wind... Or have I? Wind cleaver. Get a hold... Is that what I have now? Wait, hold on. What's a wind... What's a wind cleaver? Okay, stop talking. Hold on. What's a wind... Do I have a wind cleaver now? Yeah, I do! Hey, kid! I have one! Where'd you go? Kid, I have it. Wind cleaver. Thank goodness. This is so lucky of me. That's a wind cleaver, and your grandpa, you know, has money to give me, passed down th for you. He probably wanted to, you to use it for college, but here's a wind cleaver. It looks really cool. I can't believe I actually have one on me. Uh, it's in a book. Silver rupee, great. What, what do you want to see next? Uh, do you want the master sword? Because I have that too. Let's see. What is it? Ancient battle axe plus. So I have a plus plus. Does that count? Oh, come on. I have a plus plus. That's not even fair. I have a plus plus. I really do. Don't I? Ancient battle axe. I have a plus plus. Why isn't this good enough? I have two plus pluses. You expect me to go get a regular one? Oh, my gosh. So what do you think I do? Okay, so here's what I, what I have in mind. Uh, I know that some of these are like test of modest or whatever. I wish I remember which ones were which. Uh, the major, uh, there's a major. Let's do the modest one. Maybe the modest one will have an axe plus. And then I can get it for him. This guy is greedy. I don't know what in the world is happening, but this guy is greedy. So let's go find what he wants. Hopefully we'll get just the plus, not the plus plus like I already have. I can't believe a plus plus won't do. I mean, he's like, I want to see the plus, not the not the extra good one. Like, come on, kid, grow up. All right, I'm in here. We're gonna fight, and you know what? I'm gonna probably put on I'm gonna put on my fighting gear, or actually, wait. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna put on. Uh, uh yeah, come on, load. All right, I hope he has an axe. If he doesn't, I'm gonna freak out. Or I'm still gonna kill him, but I'm, I'm gonna. Let's see, so I have this, and uh, I'm gonna put on everything. I'm gonna, well not everything, but I'm gonna put on my ancient helm. Here we go, get ready. Get ready, I'm gonna run at you and attack. Here we go, I know. What does he have, you think he has an ax? It's just a plus? It looks like he might. It actually looks like he might, which is really cool. Oh. Hold on, I meant to do stasis. Got him. Please tell me it's the Ancient Battle Axe Plus. Man, oh man, I can't believe this. Ridiculous, and I think I've already gotten the treasure chest, right? Like opening that up is no big deal. All right, but let me get rid of something, because whatever. Um, I'll get rid of this. All right, kid. Latino Village, coming your way again. You better be happy. He wouldn't, it wouldn't settle for the plus plus. It had to be a step down. Jeez, Louise. I just can't believe it. I can't, how could the plus plus not be good enough? Whatever, let's not dwell on it. This kid's stressing me out. Let's go see what is up. Man, the plus plus. Okay, anyway. Hopefully he'll be happy with this find. I hope. <laughs> Hello, kiddo. Not you're not the boy. What? Oh no, you are the boy. What? Oh, she was chasing you this time. Okay, cool. 
<laughs> Alright, never mind. Yeah, wow. It's even more amazing than I ever imagined. Thank you. What are you going to give me this time? Silver. What's for the gold? You want the Master Sword? You got it from your grandpa, man. You have a hoard of cash for college savings and you're just Aww. giving it to me. Whatever. Um, Got it. Have you ever heard of the Frost Spear? I've seen it, but I don't know where to get the Frost Spear right now. I used to have a Frost Spear. I don't have it now. I don't know where to just go get a Frost Spear. So, yeah. I think we're about done for now. I... Like I said, this is just the loose ends. I don't want to spend a lot of time grinding to get a frost spear. That'll take time. Once I get a frost spear, I'll be able to show them. So, but for now, I think we're good. Thanks for watching. Come back next time for more. I'll see you then. We're going to get the final memory. Goodbye. And thank you so much for being here. Oh, wow. Hey, guys. Today, I'm going to be killing this guy. He's a silver Lionel. Oh, he's going to kill me. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. I think he's trying to fight me, right? He's mad at me. Okay. So, uh, now that he knows that I'm totally not who he thinks he is. Okay. I'm going to put in... Uh, let's put in... Just uh, Let's grab a sword or something, I guess. Uh, okay, we got this. We got arrows. We should be pretty good. Now, uh, the one thing I'm gonna need to do is not wear my Lionel mask. And, uh, <laughs> oh boy. Uh, let's see. And this is like a bonus kill. I already killed him earlier, but I wanted to, to include another one at the end. Uh, because I thought this was more exciting. Uh, so let's do it again. Where Where's my hat? Oh, there it is. Okay. So... All right, I meant to get on his back. Okay, like I said, it almost seems like just arrows are good, right? All right, hold on. Nope, not good enough. Oh, God. Whoa, he missed me. Yeah, that back of the head stuff isn't going to work. Uh-oh. All right. Oh, no. Dang it. He got me. He swiped at me. So this is a silver Lionel. Is that good? Face me. Face me and we can talk. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was a heavy hit. That was a very heavy hit. can't tell. Did that work? Nope. Oh, he was coming for me. It's okay. It's okay. We got him. We got him. He's, he's almost dead. Nice. Did Mipha save me? No. Again, I think we're just going to finish him off with arrows. Unless this works. Here we go. I'm on his back. So I just stab him in the back a few times. I mean, that was okay, right? Oh, missed. Uh-oh. He's dead. Another silver Lionel dead. Very cool. Oh, man. So what do we get? We get a flame blade. We get a bunch of uh, shock arrows, topaz, ruby, Lionel hooves. Oh, we got. A, he's got a star fragment on him. You see that? Savage Lionel shield, no more. Can't carry any more. Let's see what we want to ditch. Uh, oh, that rusty shield. I need it for a Korok seed. Um... Yeah, it's, you know, it's fine. We have two of them. It's fine. It really is. Uh, but for the for this, I'm going to want to get rid of probably the Royal Bow. Although it's attack up 15. Does it have any sort of uh, benefit here? Sorry. Uh, let's get... Oh, the... No. Hmm. 52. <laughs> let's get rid of... Uh, Get rid of this falcon bow. I don't even need this. Lionel bow. Lionel bow is where it's at. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I killed two this episode. 
Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. This is Otto, Egon, and I'll see you next time for more.